segment for your community. I'm excited to introduce two stars of the show for Christmas in the Sky. I've got Josh Strand and Jason West here with us today. It smells great over here. Right. And I, and I want to know what you brought. I, I can't wait to try it. So tell me a little bit about what you'll be bringing to Christmas in the Sky. Yeah, I'll be in the uh, Moulin Rouge section, okay. uh, which is, of course, uh, the Broadway th is uh, the theme this year, and, and Moulin Rouge being a uh, burlesque uh, musical. Uh, and so everything will be geared towards the French uh, cuisine uh, based on that. Uh, I've got some miniature quiches. Uh, I've got what's called a croque monsieur, which is fancy for ham sandwich, even though it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's it not looks a little bit better than a ham sandwich I made. It's so. not actually a ham sandwich. <laughs> this one is made uniquely. It's a. Uh, it's actually a smoked salmon and goat cheese croque monsieur. So, and this is a uh, pate with a um, onion and bacon jam, and over here is what's called tartatan which is an apple tart, and it's made with cognac. It looks delicious. Tell me a little bit about the crea creativity behind these, these mm, um, well, legacies. Well, for me, I mean, I, you know, I, much of my background uh, was trained uh, in Europe, and uh, so I've got a lot of classic French uh, background in terms of my training, uh, and it's what I tend to gravitate to anyway. So, you know, that Tuscan region Italian, and so this kind of came natural to me. Absolutely. Jason, what can we look forward to in your section? Well, my section is Priscilla, a Queen of the Desert, which is based in the Outback. So it'll, uh, it's got kind of a crocodile Dundee Outback flair to it. Okay. Uh, we are presenting 10,000 skewers of uh, chicken, beef, uh, shrimp, and vegetables. Oh, wow. And the star of the show will be a bacon-wrapped alligator. That sounds delicious. Yeah, that will be on our carving I've station. never had alligator, but I'm excited to try it. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> People say it tastes like chicken. Does it? <laughs> we'll see about that. Tell me a little bit about your background. Well, uh, uh, my background, uh, one morning I just woke up, said I was going to uh, want to go to culinary school, and eight hours later I was enrolled at Bipsy. Really? Wow. Yes. Uh, Chef Ryan and Chef Julie, uh, they were my instructors. Uh, They've also been my mentors over the past uh, four years, and uh, uh, when I got the phone call, I, I jumped at the chance. Awesome. That sounds great. And yeah. there will be other chefs at Christmas in the Sky. Can right. you tell me about those? Yeah, um, the chefs, other than Jason, myself, that I'm aware of, uh, friends of mine, in fact, uh, uh, Elazar Mondragon and his brother, Rodrigo, um, Jacob Mauser will be there. He's last year's Golden Fork champion. Uh, oh, wow. I'm a, a three-time finalist with Golden Fork. Um, Elazar is a former champion of Golden Fork. So uh, a lot of talent's going to be out there. And uh, these guys, I mean, their food is well recognized and it's delicious. Absolutely. So the creativity and the beauty of Christmas in the Sky is not just in the sets and all that glitter. It's in the food as well. Absolutely. Yes. So tell me about a little bit of the process that goes into making something like this. Mm, well, and Long I, know, hours. I know Jason can probably <laughs> attest to the same thing, different cuisine, but it's still, it's a lot of tedious work. Uh, we spent, um, since Tuesday night working on, for example, the pate because it needs to refrigerate and set. So we've probably spent some 16 hours just on that alone. Yes. You know, so it takes a lot. Absolutely. And you also have uh, big jobs, but you've also taken the time to take part in something like Christmas in the Sky. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't miss it. This, uh, I've, I've been asked several times and uh, have had, unfortunately, things to keep me from going. So this is actually my first year, so I'm really excited about it. But uh, I also know Ryan and Julie. They're great folks. And, right. Uh, I just I couldn't disappoint him anymore. So this is your first time doing Christmas it in is. the Sky. What about you? Uh, this is the first time of me of being a chef. Okay. Uh, my family and I were uh, uh, lighting designers uh, years back. We started with uh, Hollywood and finished with uh, Out of This World. Uh, also been a, a, a guest a few times, so uh, this, even though I'm associated with it uh, on a lot of aspects, it's the first time me standing there and, and actually watching people enjoy the food. Absolutely. I've actually never been. So can you tell me about Christmas in the Sky and what we can expect that night of the event? Extravagant. Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, that, that's the only word that pops into, into mind. I mean, it's just gaudy, big, bold. I mean, uh, everybody's having a great time. The costumes are fabulous. Absolutely. Uh, the food is incredible. I mean, uh, 
And it's for a great cause. Yes. It's for an incredible cause. That's the so best part. That is the best part. Absolutely. Well, I cannot wait to try some of this food whenever I make it to the event. And really, we are going to dispel all reality and enjoy some really incredible things. So thank you for joining me. And I will definitely be sharing this with Josh. I know he's a little jealous I'm over here. It smells great. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I really look forward to seeing you again the night yes. of the event. Yeah. yeah it's it's going to be, be It's going to be incredible. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Pleasure. And do we need to mention this? Yeah. What is Moet, this right here, yeah. Moet is a champagne that is, uh, it's a very high-end champagne, and it's uh, going to be featured there at Christmas in the Sky. Uh, beautiful choice, because at least with the dishes that I have, I can tell you, I can't think of anything that would pair better. Absolutely. Thank you so much again. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. You're welcome. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Christmas in the Sky is only one short day away, and it will take place Saturday, December 8th at Harris, Louisiana Downs. If you haven't purchased your ticket yet, you might still be able to do so by visiting Shreveport Regional Arts Council offices at Central Art Station on 801 Crockett Street in downtown Shreveport. You can also call 318-673-6500. When we return, Operation Santa Claus is in full effect, and we're telling you how you can be a part of it. Stay with us.